Hey guys, Anthony here with another WordPress quick tip and today I'm going to be talking about how you can identify problem plugins and identify speed issues with your website using tools like GT Metrics, uh, webpagetest.org or uh, Pingdom. I'm going to get into those three websites and show you how to use them in a nutshell and, uh, and hopefully you can speed up your site. So yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so this is how we're going to go ahead and test our web page. So uh, I'm going to test my personal website, antpb.com. And, uh, and this is a website called gtmetrics.com. So it's gtmetrix.com. And this is what it takes you to when you go to the page. Uh, and, and what you do is you just enter the URL of your, your site. So I'm going to type in antpb.com, and I'm going to run a quick test on it. And, and what's going to happen is it's going to test it from a server, and it's going to test it a few times just to get the average time to load and things like that. One thing to consider with my website, I'm going to go ahead while it's running, uh, and show you the website. Uh, it's got a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of redirects, some images, and things like that. So these are all projects that I've been working on. So there's a lot of stuff that has external calls. So it may have a bad grade, but that's just because of YouTube. So it got a 77 as the, the speed grade, and, and that was because of uh, these things right here. So minimize redirects. If you look, uh, I, I've got an A all the way across the board until we get over here. Remove query strings from static resources. Uh, this is happening because of plugins. You can click on each thing and it'll tell you exactly what is causing the bad grade. So here, minimize redirects. It's going to say, uh, so remove the following redirect chain if possible, which is YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. All of these are YouTube. So YouTube is really hurting my score. It's, it's, it's not hurting the speed of the page. You'll see that the page load time was seven seconds, but that was because I have an infinite scroll page. So there are things here that you'll have to consider. Like there are things that it may recommend that are not applicable to your website. So what I recommend is doing the test on multiple. There's a, a, another one called webpagetest.org. Do the same thing, antpb.com. Go ahead and start the test. And then it'll, it'll show you where you're at in the queue. It's going to test it on IE11 from Virginia. So it tells you where it's testing it from, uh, what site it's testing, and what browser it's using. So it's going to test it on a typically slow browser, Internet Explorer. So that's, that's good. Um, so the test started 17 seconds ago, 18 seconds, and it should display the results all on its own. Just wait one moment. All right, so the test came back. Uh, first byte time was a little weird there. It gave me a two second. It could have been because of how I ran the test from what server uh, or from what uh, location. But uh, if you look here, uh, everything else gave an A. Uh, the start render time was 0.4 seconds. There was three seconds. There seemed to be something hanging up. A lot of times I get that with like Jetpack or uh, Jetpack actually really hurts my site's performance. So usually I stick a, stick to plugins that I need. Uh, that have that functionality. Uh, so you'll see here all of the things in yellow are what it's going to caution me with. It's going to say that I need to watch those 301 redirects, which I can't really change because it's YouTube. Uh, and then it tells you exactly what is taking time to load. So here's something that is a flash file. I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, so I probably want to look into it and get rid of it because it's taking two seconds to load. So the things like that are, are happening on the page. It's easy to identify. Another one that you can test is tools.pingdom.com forward slash FPT. And in here, it'll give you a test, so I, or it'll give you a grade. So I just ran the test. I like this one the most because it shows you real-time stats, and you'll see the time to first byte and what's happening to my overall page speed. So what it does is it takes an average. So my time to first byte there was a little weird. I'm probably going to run the test again just to make sure. And if you click on the settings area, you can change where the test is run from. I typically go with Dallas or New York. I really don't like to run the test from the Netherlands because uh, my readers are probably not in the Netherlands. Um, so this one right now is running from the Netherlands. So you'll see, and, and typically I get worse results from, from Netherlands just because it's, it's uh, crossing the pond. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Dallas instead. I'm going to run the test. And we'll see how this test goes. And we should see much better performance out of it. Yeah, so that's much better. It's uh, time to first byte. It's, it's getting down to about two seconds. Now, uh, something interesting to watch. So let's say two seconds. I don't like that speed. That's 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 really bad time to first byte. I'm going to go ahead and turn off Jetpack. 
So let's go ahead and do these things. This is how I diagnose what, what is taking so long. So there's Jetpack. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the plugins. And uh, I'm going to deactivate Jetpack. I don't need it. It's not doing anything for me. I'm going to deactivate it. Not only am I going to deactivate it, but I'm going to delete it because I don't want a bunch of plugins that I'm not using. So I'm going to go ahead and click delete. Yes, delete the files. And if you have any caching uh, plugins, you may want to clear the cache just to be safe. It doesn't look like I have any caching plugins on this site right now. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, run the test again. So here we go, running the test, and you'll see that my speed is much better. My time to first byte is down to a second, and uh, yeah, it averaged at a second. So I shaved off a second. My entire load time for the page is three seconds now, so everything is, is better. So that's how you diagnose these issues. Uh, it takes a few tries on these, uh, on these uh, performance test sites, but, but they can be extremely helpful. In, uh, in diagnosing the issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the test from all the other ones again. So right now it's fetching the site. Uh, this one's doing the same. So if you'll remember with this one I got a 71 on my my uh, my page grade. So this one's generating the report. And if you look now I'm getting a 93% just by removing Jetpack. It, it did that. So this is really good. This is, uh, this is exactly what I want. So now I've got the only thing that's hurting my score is uh, minimizing redirects and that's just happening for my YouTube videos. So not so bad. And uh, same thing is happening over here. This test should be finishing up very shortly. This one usually takes a little longer, so we may, uh, there we go. So yeah, first byte time went down to 0.6 seconds, 0.9 seconds, and uh, overall it gave me a much better score. Uh, load time is about 4 seconds. Start render time was 1 second before it was 3 seconds. So just getting rid of Jetpack did that. So yeah, these are kind of the steps that you can take to diagnose what's going on with your site and testing it.